Hey beer tubers, it's Ryan back with a special episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me today. Get a little dressed up, a little classy here for this review to thank all my subscribers. I hit the 100 subscriber mark about a week ago and just wanted to say thanks and review a special beer and get a little classy, get a little dressed up, get the hat going. I threatened to do so after Chris wore his hat on, so he's been wearing his hat for a bunch of videos now. So anyway, we're going to look today at a beer I got in a trade. This is Founders Nemesis 2010. This bottle I got from, from Daniel, the Endosymbiosis. So thanks, Daniel. I know this it's a very hard beer to find. As soon as it came out, it pretty much sold right out. This is a 12% a beer and 100 IBUs. And it's sort of, I'm not sure what you'd call this. Maybe it's just an American uh Barley wine slash just American strong ale. I don't know what the heck you're going to call this, but I'm going to get most of that in there. It pours It pours pretty much almost like a porter. I get a little bit of ruby red at the bottom of the glass. Got about a half a finger of a kind of a, a light brown kind of tan head on there. A lot of small bubbles, but really dark, dark, dark color. Probably like a really dark brown. So I don't normally read off the bottle, but I want to read what it says on the front of this. It says it's an anti-establishment ale. And that every batch is diabolically brewed to decimate ordinary, average, run-of-the-mill tasting beer. Um, that's pretty awesome. Reminds me of Stone and their kind of uh, motto they have with their arrogant bastard. So uh, right away I'm liking this beer. The head's pretty much gone on it, but that's alright. I mean, look at the freaking legs on that glass. I mean, that's pretty amazing. Let's get the aroma on it. Oh, it's got, it's got, yeah, it's, it has a sweetness to it that's, I think, both from the malts and the hops. I mean, there is some sweet kind of citrusy hop notes on there. Maybe some earthy hoppiness as well, but then you get the dark malt. You get a ton, a ton of dark fruits, like, pl like plums, and in raisins and there's some like a caramel a bit of caramel in there as well just a really complex beer a uh, little bit of alcohol in there as well just maybe a little woodiness in there almost got like almost like a bourbon character as well it's a really complex nose that you can spend a lot of time with probably pick out a bunch of different notes so I'm not going to go through and get them all because, I mean, I, I could probably drink this a dozen times and, and find new new characteristics of it. So I'm just going to dig in. Can't wait to taste this. Uh, thanks for all of you to subscribe to my channel. It's been awesome. Been having a lot of fun. Cheers. Wow, that is... That is way smoother than I was expecting it to be. For a 12% beer, there's a little alcohol at the end, but wow, that's that's really impressive right off the bat. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this beer. You kind of get you get hops up front, mostly like an earthy hoppiness, real kind of mellow hoppiness mixed in with a touch of citrus character. Nothing completely uh, obvious as far as the citrus character, just a bit of that note. Then that huge malt backbone kicks in. Get a bunch of different flavors going there. And then towards the end, the hops kind of reappear, give a little uh, lingering uh, bitterness along with some of the alcohol heat. As far as the malt character of this beer, there's a good amount of caramel in there. Um, I get like a sweet chocolate note, and then you get those dark fruits that you get on the nose. The, the bit of like plum, uh, raisin. Maybe even some fig in there as well. 
It's a really complex big beer. Um, the drinkability on this for me is outstanding for a 100 IBU, 12% beer. Just really amazing what Founders has done with with some of these big beers. Uh, it's really a shame that they don't brew more of this. This is a fantastic beer. I mean, if they could somehow make this as available as, as Stone seasonal releases, that would just be awesome. I know this bottle can go for, I don't I don't know what, what it quite goes for. I think it's somewhere between six to like nine bucks, or maybe five to nine bucks just for a single 12 ounce bottle, which is really pricey, but for the quality beer it is, I mean, it's a nice, it's a real nice treat. Uh, it's a great wintertime beer on these cool nights. This one's going to warm you up without just blowing your, your face off with booziness. Um, they, I don't know. There, there must be a bit of like a barrel aging going on. I don't know for sure. I didn't really research this beer much. But it's got kind of a bit of that kind of earthy, woodsy character in there as well. I could really see this beer going too sweet if they didn't hop it up to the level they did. Because you still get that nice, real sweet malt character, but the hops, thankfully, in the back end come in there and let it dry. It dries your mouth out somewhat and, and washes away some of that, that sweetness that might linger too much. Something I don't really care for when you have these big kind of barley wine style American Strong Ales. So I, hate, I really hate to do this because I only have one more bottle and I'm gonna, for that one I'm going to age it for a while. But this, this is an A plus beer. This is fantastic. The drinkability for me is extremely high for a 12% beer. Alcohol is very well hidden. It's got a huge nice complex malt body going on. And there is a, a nice hop character as well. And it doesn't go too sweet. And it's just, yeah, there's so much complexity that the more you drink this, the more you're going to get out of it. And it's, it's everything you want in this type of beer. So for me, that's, it, it meets my requirements as an A-plus beer. It's about as close to a perfect beer as you can get for this style. Such an awesome beer for... Uh, doing for my 100 subscriber videos. I'm glad I picked this one. This is a phenomenal beer. If you can trade for this one, if you're out here in California, we can't get founders. Definitely worth trading for, trying for the first time. This is an excellent beer. Um, founders, I mean, I have yet to be disappointed by anything I've tried from them. They do brew some excellent beers, so I hope they can expand and uh, start distributing out here and on the West Coast. That would be just awesome, especially this beer, brew more of this beer. This is excellent, Founders. Thank you guys for subscribing. Really appreciate all the comments, the, uh, the tips, you know, everything. It's been fun being a part of the YouTube community. I've been enjoying the heck out of it and getting, getting to know people and, you know, making new friends with a lot of my fellow beer geeks out there. So I really appreciate it. Founders 2010, get a bottle of this. Uh, this is a beer to try before you die. It's, it's that good. So, until next time, cheers.